and it might not have been appreciated in terms of somebody always coming out and saying, hey, hey, Travis, you're doing a good job. It wasn't that, because I didn't need that, all right? And Joe wasn't the type of guy who would do that, all right? But he would be the one that would sit there, push you, push you, push you, help you up when you fall, know what your potential is, push you right to the edge, and help you exceed even your own expectations. And, you know, that's something that's not for everybody. And I think that's what the Penn State experience was all about, is that the people that came into the system already had those high expectations for themselves, and then they have a coach who is willing to push them even further, and that's what made it such a great experience, is that being amongst 120 other guys and having that camaraderie where we're all in this together, right? and when we come out of this at the end of four years, we're going to be you know, great men, we're gonna become great fathers, we're gonna become you know, great husbands, we're gonna become you know, great everything, just from those four years that we had at Penn State. I mean, I've been removed from Penn State now for 12 years, but those four years at Penn State are going to last for a lifetime, and those values that I learned while I was there under under Joe Pa's uh, tutelage is definitely, definitely going to have lifelong repercussions. And uh, sometimes that's good, and sometimes that's bad. You know, Joe certainly had a lot of high expectations for his athletes, and sometimes that's difficult in life. You know, when uh, you take what you learn from Joe and try to apply it to uh, the outside world. You know, and the number of times that. I've showed up to uh, meetings and I'm 15 minutes early, which is pretty much late for Joe Pa time, and there's no one there. And the first thing that goes through my head is, oh my goodness, did, did I miss the meeting? Where's everybody at? And I realized that nobody showed up yet. Uh, you know, pushing people to that edge of their potential as a teacher, sometimes you can't do that because some kids don't have that. Some kids uh, aren't ready for that. You know, some kids don't have that same personality. So sometimes you push a kid, you push a kid, and when I was in that situation, I would, I would take that and I would go with it. Not all kids are that way, all right? And so as a teacher, you know, even as a parent, you know, even as a coach, what you find is that those expectations that Joe had for you, as much as they helped mold me and shape me, as much as I'd like to uh, pass that on to other people, you know, sometimes that, that, that gets in the way, you know? And, and that's the thing, you know, the Joe Pa world and the real world are sometimes not one and the same, right? but I think that's something that I've always strived for. I always strive for that type of perfection. Uh, perfection for me, you know, not necessarily the perfection for other people, but uh, no, I mean, uh, jo Joe is a, is a great teacher. I mean, he really is. And uh, I think it'd be interesting, you know, what his life would be like had he, you know, gone to the classroom, you know, as opposed to the, uh, to the athletic field, but that's something we'll never know. <laughs> I think for a lot, of, a lot of athletes that went to Penn State, I'm not exactly sure if it would be any different or not. And the reason I say that is because I know that a lot of people that went to Penn State already uh, carried themselves you know, with not so much a higher standard. I don't want to use that, right? but they pushed themselves so much more. And I, I think that was the thing that made Penn State football great, was that the people that Joe brought in were the people that already were like that and understood that system and then he could take those those, those, those you know young 18 year old men right, and turn them into you know 22 year old you know leaders of the community uh, and so I, I don't know it's kind of hard to say I mean I would love to say that yes Joe was a major impact on my life but I would also like to be able to say that well without Joe you know would I have been able to do it on my own all right oh. I think the answer is we, we mutually benefited from that. And uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy to be a part of that because as I was saying before, I don't know, what would life be like without, without Joe? Well, I think that uh, one, I wouldn't be here <laughs> conducting an interview uh, for, for Joe. Uh, but I, I think it, it's, it's nice to be able to hang your hat on, on Joe and to say that you went through that system with Joe. All right, and it adds credibility to whatever it is I do in life. You know, whether they look at the resume and they say, oh, you went to Penn State, you played football at Penn State. The first question that people ask me is, what's Joe like? You know, they don't ask me, well, you know, what was your longest field goal? They don't ask me what my favorite game was. No, the first thing they ask when they find out that I played football at Penn State was, what's Joe like? <laughs>